As a rule, all objects in space are located enormous distances away from each other. The fact that huge bodies like stars may at some point collide is mind-boggling. But the universe takes pride in stunning us, and hardly everything we can see in a telescope may be given a conventional explanation. Here is M.Y. Camelopardalis, one of the brightest stars located within our cluster. We used to consider it a single object for quite a while. However, Spanish scientists have recently found out that it is in fact two huge stars in the process of merging. Cosmo The first in outer space This binary system has been on the astronomical map for several decades and all the while has been thought of as just one super bright star. M.Y. Camelopardalis, or M.Y. Cam for short, is 13,000 light years away from the Earth. It used to be classified as a variable star. The object aroused interest only as late as in 2014, when a group of Spanish scientists was able to define M.Y. Cam as a binary star system. The discovery was made thanks to a 2.2-meter telescope in the Calar Alto Observatory. Both stars boast a comparatively big mass and are drawn quite close together, with their outer atmospheres almost touching. One of them is 38 masses of our Sun, and the mass of its companion is 32 masses of our Sun. The radius of each measures 700 those of our planet, just to compare, it's six times the radius of our Sun. As for the age of these objects, they're comparatively young and cannot be over two million years old. M.Y. Cam may well be called one of the most massive binary star systems known to science. Both objects of the system are hot blue O-type stars. Their rotation speed may reach up to one million kilometers per hour with the surface temperature of each of them as high as 40,000 kelvins. The orbital period around their common center is about 28 hours, which means that both giants complete a full orbit around each other in a bit over a day. Just to compare, our Sun completes one full rotation in 26 days. MY Cam is also quite bright, which makes it visible even through a common telescope. The star's orbit is a rather narrow one, which is why they're alternately eclipsed practically every day. This explains constant changes in their luminosity. Before this fact became known, scientists used to be confused about the properties of this stellar system. The existence of MY Cam doesn't seem to be that incredible, considering the fact that most celestial bodies in the Milky Way were formed in big stellar systems whose objects were also variable and eclipsing stars. This means that these objects' overall luminosity may vary from time to time. M.Y. Cam can be called one of the best-known stellar systems of the kind. In fact, it seems to have been originally formed like this, and has always looked the way we can observe it today. Since the components are in such close proximity, Sooner or later, they are bound to collide and then merge into one enormous star whose mass may well reach as much as 60 sun masses. Thanks to theoretical modeling, it is assumed that when stars merge, it is a quick procedure accompanied by a big bang, with incredible amounts of energy released as a result. If this happens with MY Cam, astronomers will be able to observe this demonstration, confirming the theory that supermassive stars are formed when two less massive objects merge. To date, science has not yet witnessed a merging process of this kind. The possibility of our suns taking part in a similar process is quite negligible. According to today's estimates, a collision of the main star of our system with another star may take place once every 10 to the power of 28 years. But even with such a minuscule chance of this collision, our Earth would be seriously affected were it to take place somewhere close by space standards. If it were to happen within a hundred light years from us, 
our blue planet would be completely devastated. However, at this point there isn't a single star cluster within that range. So far we have only been able to record the result of two neutron stars collision. In theory, this process should result in the formation of a neutron star with an even bigger mass, or else it should cause the formation of a black hole. When merging, neutron stars are capable of generating a magnetic field billions of times more powerful than that of the Earth. This process may be accompanied by a gamma ray flare. That is the most powerful energy emission in the universe known to us. I mentioned it at some point in other videos. However, in spite of the tremendous scale of this phenomenon, astronomers have never been able to directly observe the process of merging stars. One of these events, the GRB150101 gamma ray flare, was detected only in 2018. The event made it possible to draw connection with gravity waves detected back in 2015. Gravity waves are also a result of two neutron stars merging. It looks like something similar awaits MY CAM as well, and if a planetary system were in its vicinity, it would be a far less serene place to be around in comparison with our planet. The enormous mass of MYCAM is indicative of its short life, which leads us to assume that intelligent organisms would simply not have had enough time to develop on its hypothetical planets. Besides, as the stellar system grows older, both its components increase in their dimensions. This process brings MYCAM ever closer to its inevitable destiny of becoming a supermassive stellar giant and then an even heavier neutron star or else a black hole. The MYCAM system is also peculiar for the fact that it is located in a region of the universe rather densely filled with stars. Regions like that are sometimes referred to as globular star clusters. Star mergers are rather common in areas of this kind, since the number of stars there is by far greater than in our system's proximity. According to the latest estimates, star collisions in globular star clusters occur approximately once every 10,000 years. Unlike MYCAM, objects like our Sun are sole drifters in a galaxy with only a planetary system for company. However, such celestial objects are not that common in the universe. Sun-like single stars in the Milky Way account only for a measly 2%. Most stars are part of multiple systems. For example, triple star systems are the most common, accounting for about 75% of all observable stars. Most of them have to struggle with the gravity force of their companions throughout their lifetime. This interaction, in its turn, leads to the formation of even larger stellar systems. Most of the supermassive stars known today may at one point have been part of systems with at least one companion of an identical mass. Thanks to frequent eclipses occurring in multiple star systems, scientists are able to investigate the celestial objects in more detail. In the case of MYCAM, for instance, astrophysicists detected a wide range of specters of light emanating from it. They went on to use the Doppler effect, thus measuring the star's orbital speeds. With this knowledge, it was safe to maintain that MYCAM is an exceptional object in space. In the future, this stellar system will enable us to confirm some hypotheses as to the formation of massive stars in our galaxy. When celestial objects like that are discovered, we grow ever stronger in our belief that our universe is an amazing place, concealing an unimaginably large number of as yet unknown phenomena. Each of them poses a hurdle for science, but once it is negotiated, our civilization continues to develop and expand its knowledge about space surrounding us. We will soon get even more information about MY Camelopardalis, 
as an object with such exciting properties can't but attract attention of scientists all over the world. There is no knowing what features of star formation we will be aware of at that time, but it is safe enough to say even now that these remote gigantic stars will never cease to amaze us.